Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss the geometric isomer. The geometric isomer is a part of isomers of alkenes. Geometric iso isomer is a type of space isomerization. Basically in alkenes the geometric isomers is because of restriction about carbon carbon double bond in alkenes the geometric iso geometrical isomers the the case of geometrical isomers arises because of double bond between the carbon atoms between the two carbon atoms the carbon atoms involve the double bond and hence they are having the sp2 hybridization the bond is made between the the made between the two carbon atoms this bond is made up of sigma bond which is surrounded by the first one is always sigma bond second one is always pi this type of bond is made up of sigma bond which is surrounded by pi electron cloud containing two pi electrons i'll repeat again this type of geometrical isomers is having the hybridization of sp2 and this bond is made up of sigma bond is made up of sigma bond the first one is always sigma bond which is surrounded by which is surrounded by a pi bond pi electron cloud or i can say pi electron cloud containing two pi electrons in this type of geometric isomers is having the these are the uh, things we need to learn for a geometric isomer the geometric isomers cloud contain two pi electrons condition for the geometric isomers that the then there must be a double bond between the atoms in case the atom or a group a group of atom attached to double bond carbon atoms are to rotate are to rotate maybe clockwise or anti clockwise the results the breakdown of pi electron cloud if there is a sig single sigma bond it can rotate in either way clockwise in clockwise or anti clockwise this type of rotation is only possible if there is a sigma bond that is single bond between the carbon atoms since the geometric isomers has the condition of carbon having the double bond carbon atoms having the double bond when the when the double bond carbon atoms rotate cause the breakdown of pi electron cloud so we can say rotation is not allowed what is the second condition for geometric isomer rotation is restricted that is not allowed these are the conditions we need to think about it carefully we need to cram we need to learn for this purpose to rotate what's our purpose to rotate for this purpose energy is needed a large amount of energy is needed which is not available at the room temperature unless we can supply it from the out from the outside source in other words i can say in simple terms that the rotation in double bond is not allowed is not allowed the geometric isomers are also known as cis trans cis trans isomerism if if i am having the two carbon atoms what is the condition for the geometric isomers that the two carbon atoms must have a double bond if i am having the uh geometric isomers is in this form and the second molecule is is represented by by the double bond again 
basically these types these are the two types of geometric isomers the first one is known as the first one is known as cis and the second one is as trans what is the purpose of preparing the cis and the trans because both are having the different melting point and the boiling point the condition remain the condition always remain for the geometric isomers is what that the carbon and carbon must have a at least one carbon atom if if there is a chain of carbon it must uh, have at least one carbon double bond in it the, the second condition is the atom or a group of atom attached to carbon double bond must be different must be different if if uh, if a compound is in this form both are having the uh, same atoms or a group of atoms this is not a geometrical isomer what is the condition for the geometrical isomers that the third uh, that the third condition is what that the uh, that the two atoms attached to the double bond carbon atom I, i repeat again attached to the double bond carbon atom must be different if i am having is in this form that a single a carbon is uh, along with the uh, double bond oxygen i am having the lone pair this is also not a geometric isomer because these two lone so for isomer for this type of isomer in which two identical atoms two identical atoms or group lie on the same side of the double bond is called as cis isomer and other isomer in which identical identical atoms or a group of atoms lie on the opposite side of double bond i'll repeat again opposite side side same side of the double bond when we see it opposite side it is known as trans isomer cis and trans isomers have the same structure but dif but because of different arrangement different configuration their melting point their their properties differs like melting point boiling point dipole moment solubility their number of factors uh, change changed cis forms alkenes found more polar than trans for example i am giving example the dipole moment of cis the dipole moment of cis is somehow exist whereas dipole moment of trans is almost zero why is it so the dipole moment is cancelled out by the both of the same type of atoms if present it is said that the trans is non polar because of dipole moment exist in this type of cis so it has polar character so it is having the non polar character this can be understood by the drawing the geometries of the two forms how we can draw we can draw is in is in this form it is clear that the this represents the dipole representation here dipole exist about 3 3 d by a. this is cis form because the two atoms are because of the two atoms of the same side of the double bond while the trans is having the zero dipole because the dipole dipole is a vector quantity the dipole effect cancelled out because of opposite side of the double bond two methyl groups are in opposite direction therefore dipole moment cancelled thus making the trans as non polar cis as polar in case of solid we observe that the higher melting point trans is having than cis form what about the melting point trans is having the more melting point while cis is having the lower melting point this is all about the cis and the trans now now we, uh, next we are having which of the following have the geometric isomer 
giving a question we are having a question of hex to in and the second one is 2 comma 3 di methyl but to in what is the condition for the geometric isomer there must be a double bond rotation is not allowed these all things we need to keep in mind when we talk about the hex to in the first th thing comes into our mind it's long carbon chain if I just draw long carbon chain there must be double bond at a position of 2 in at a position of 2 in 6 5 4 double bond 3 CH3 this structure can be written as in the condensed form this is condensed form of this hex to in since each double bond carbon atom has the two different group attached to it two different group attached to it this is carbon double bond this one is having the two different carbon atoms attached to it so it's a geometrical isomers is possible so we can say geometrical isomers is possible if I can I can draw in this way also we can draw in this way also both are having uh, sing, uh, for a one carbon atom for a single carbon atom both of the name both atoms bonded are different and the two atoms opposite to it in a it doesn't matter so we can say this is a part of geometrical isomers this form is known as cis form another one we are having we can also draw is in this form we can rotate by applying somehow energy so as to change its melting boiling point melting point boiling point dipole and number of solubility and number of characteristics and this type of form is known as trans hex to in and this one cis hex to in talking about the 2 comma 3 dimethyl butene but to in in this case same methyl group is attached to the double bond first we need to locate the double bond in a molecule if I just write we can write is in this form we are talking about the second part this one is our first part this one is second part What, in, what we need to do is 2 comma 3 dimethyl 2 3 dimethyl CH3 CH3 we, ask, uh, we always need to uh, look for the double bond in this case same methyl group is attached to the two double bond carbon atoms therefore geometric isomer is not possible therefore geometric isomer is not possible